Welcome back to the Eagle Sports Coaches Show. I am Matt Schabert, joined by head tennis coach Kevin Fulton. And coach, welcome to the show again. Always glad to have you. Always good to be here, Matt. You guys got your season started on both the men's and women's side here this past weekend. A um, couple of tough losses for the men, but some very good opponents. Uh, oh, yeah. And the women actually got an opportunity to uh, go down to, well, the men too, uh, down to the Greenbrier Resort in West Virginia and uh, play a couple matches. And the women picked up a victory on Sunday. So just kind of in general, let's tell us about how your team played on the first weekend and what, yeah. what you expect going yeah. forward. Well, we're a very young team, both uh, men and women. Uh, the men have two seniors and the rest are sophomore and freshmen, and my girls are all sophomores uh, and a freshman. Mm -hmm. So it, it's, it's kind of unique to start the season with such young teams because you never quite know what's going to happen from the start. I felt like the guys uh, came out with some nervous energy. They burned it off finally. Uh, with this new format the NCAA and ITA is trying to put in for this first month and a half of the season as an experiment, um, I think teams are having a hard time handling it because it's, it's all of a sudden where you focus on endurance with some of your players, then endurance is taken away. Uh, there's no ad in, in, uh, in, in all the sets on the guy's side. The girls uh, have ad, but the third set is a 10-point breaker. We no longer go to uh, – Six on the guys before a tiebreaker. The tiebreaker is at five all. The tiebreaker for the girls is at six all. And uh, it, it's kind of changed the way tennis is played. Uh, I felt like we did better jobs in second sets against Louisville with the guys. Uh, I was very particularly impressed with um, David Clifford and uh, Gabriel Ruiz. I was very happy with Nick Mercer. Uh, I know if you look at his scores, they were 6 0, 6 0. I can tell you that in the first set, all six games were deuce. He didn't win. <laughs> With no ad, you get one chance at it, and that's it. So I really like both of these teams. Um, we have a girl that we're trying to get eligible, and if we can get her eligible, I, I look for this girl's team to really explode very quickly because we're going to put a girl in the lineup that's going to push three, three girls back, and those girls are going to do tremendous. We've got very good at the top. We're very good at the bottom, and we're very solid in the middle. Um, we came out on Sunday against that North Carolina Central team, which is a very good team in the MEAC conference. Breyer was outstanding. If you've never seen Breyer play, you need to come out and watch her play this year. She is in top form. Very, very proud, and I hope Andrea LeBlanc watches this video because I called her a catalyst yesterday. I told her, you're a catalyst. Your emotions can control the match if you allow it. She is one of those girls who's pumping her fist all the time. It's always loud. And when she does that, she's as good, her, her level of play goes up. She's as good as any player in this conference. And I have such utmost respect and uh, confidence in her. Same all the way up down the board. Lisa kind of had a bad day on Saturday. We talked to her a little bit. Sunday she came out. It was her birthday. She celebrated with two wins and doubles and singles. And Dominique McLean has really made great strides. Though she didn't win, she did the things that I asked of her. And I think she saw that even when I'm not playing well, if I'll just battle, that I'll have an opportunity to win a match. And Sandy, night and day from last year. I'm very proud of all the girls. I think we have a very legitimate shot at doing very well this year. The guys, like I said, if we can just learn to play together, and it, it's early. It's the first weekend. I'm not real concerned. Uh, obviously, you want to do well, and it looks good with wins. But like I said, dissect the scores, and you'll see we were in all those matches. So I'm really happy with where we're at right now, considering we've only had a week of practice. Uh, I'm really building towards, and the way I set the schedule up, we got some time off on the guys. We're really going to work on conditioning and work on coming out strong at the beginning of sets. Coach, thanks for joining us today. You've got a lot of good things happening yeah. in the world of tennis at Moorhead State, and we look forward to uh, an exciting season. And we'll have you back on shortly and uh, hope for some talk about some more wins. Well, hey, if you don't mind, I want to bring in my new assistant coach. If he'll come up here, I don't know if you can see him. Can you say hi to everybody? Hi. Can you tell them? I Why he was? I thought he was more of a golfer, isn't he? Well, he's he's a he's a, a jack of all trades, master of none. But I want you to tell the future athletes out there why do you never give up? It's because you should always come back and win. That's right. 
Can you tell everybody how old you are? Seven. All right. Well, thanks, buddy. I appreciate you coming out here with us. All right. Well, that'll do it here for this uh, segment of the Eagle Sports Coaches Show. We'll be back in just a minute here. This is the Eagle Sports Coaches Show.